to cover, not a lot of time to do it. Craig, you first. The, the notion of uh, Cindy saying no smell until it went to the tow yard, do the, does, does the record support that contention? I read the report, Harold. I read through much of the 400-page report, and it, it does say that the people at the wrecking company did smell a decomposing body. A guy said he even knew what that smell was like because uh, a man had committed suicide and, and his body was in the trunk of his car, and he recognized that smell from uh, that event in his uh, in his career. Leonard, so he knew what the smell of death was. I agree. Yeah. Leonard Padilla. Didn't you give Jose Baez your word? Didn't you sign a contract that you would not revoke the bond absent a charge of murder? Absolutely correct. Absolutely. So and are I you stuck to it? I, are bond, you breaking your word? You what have is to this? understand. Let, let me explain this. The bond was revoked by the surety company out of Texas. It was not revoked by me. It, it came as big a surprise uh, with the people that I was sitting with at the time that the law enforcement rolled up here. Uh, she went into custody. They revoked it. It's standard procedure. Oh. There was a safety issue with the uh, crowd out here. And okay, I hear you. Issue show show the video, Monday. Mike. That's you, why they... Okay. Uh, Leonard, hold on. I'm going to let Jose respond to you. Show the video of Casey being rearrested on that, uh, on that charge, if you have it, the, uh, the fraud charges. Jose Baez. Here comes Casey. Uh, Padilla says he didn't revoke it. The surety company did. It was an automatic thing. He had no power. Your comment. Well, I'm certain uh, we can clear that up. Um, I can put in a call to the surety company, and we can come to the bottom of it. And hopefully, you know, legally speaking, she didn't commit any other crimes while being out on bond under that surety company. So they should have no right to revoke it. Okay, I, uh, I, he I hear that. Mr. Padilla paid the money. I, I hear that. Okay, ladies. Harold, uh, well, maybe uh, you should mention... Quick, Craig, uh, Harold, maybe you should ask uh, Mr. Padilla whether or not he's had a change of heart over this case having to do with uh, Casey Anthony. Do you think, do, do you think Casey Anthony is guilty, Leonard? Well, here's what I think. I think there was a change of uh, situation that uh, sensible people have to understand when the results came back from uh, Tennessee and what limited DNA has come in. But that didn't affect me because I had my meeting okay. after those results had come in with Jose. Quickly, the fa I'm running out of time. i got to get to my beautiful ladies. What do you think about this my, case? My situation, my situation was strictly a safety issue. Okay. okay. What do I think about the case? Look, here's the bottom line. You've got enough forensic evidence. You don't have the body. You've got enough circumstantial evidence. Motive means an opportunity. If the DA you wanted to, now. if the DA wanted to, he or she could go forward right Too now. Risky, wait, Kimberly. No, well, you know what? I think they can do it very soon. They're going to do a little and bit more latitude to in terms of trying to locate the body, perhaps where the phone was pinging in that area. Oh. They are this close. You've got I think shovels. they have enough forensics, yes, enough yes. circumstantial evidence to nail her to the wall. Murder, forget go. the theft charge. Right. Yes.